Oh, easy now. Hey, Rue. Welcome to... Friends. Friends? Friends? We've only gone out together three times, and already you're telling me you just want to be friends? You never gave me a chance, and for that... You'll fry like a pork sausage. Not that I don't like you, it's just that, well, you're too nice a guy, I guess. Sure. I think I'd rather go out with someone more but unpredictable. Seriously? Hello. This doesn't look like the Lincoln Tunnel, Sam. Looks to me like a marginally volatile hostage situation, Max. Ooh, does this mean we get to kick some puffy white mad scientist butt? Can't think of a reason not to. You'll be of no use, freelance police. With the flip of a lever, my ungrateful lunch date will be reduced to a half cup of disoriented atomic mat. Well, then I guess I we shouldn't let you do real that. Doctor. Uh, shall I confront, subdue, and pummel the suspected perpetrator, Sam? Sick him up, little buddy. Hey, nice one. Yikes! Huh? He's not a real guy, Sam. Can I keep his head for a souvenir? Why do you suppose it's ticking? That's no head, Max. It's one damned ugly time bomb. Let's leave this criminal cesspool pronto. Why are we Good saying... idea, Sam. Huh? Maybe we can ditch the head somewhere while the credits are running. Mind if I drive? Not if you don't mind me clawing at the dash and shrieking like a cheerleader. Sam, is pronto a real word? Goodbye, Sam and Max. I'll never forget all you've done here today. You... Never untie her. Oh, I guess that's the joke. Yes, welcome to... Sam and Max, hit the road! Yeah, that's nice. Well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one Again. of us is ticking. Oops, oh yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. <laughs> I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Yes, yes, yes. No. Really? Well, the same to you, Mac. Another confused census taker? Actually, it was the commissioner with another idiotic and baffling assignment. Does it involve wanton destruction? We can only hope. Due to the arbitrarily sensitive nature of the mission, we'll be meeting a bonded city courier out on the street. Ooh, smells like a fiercely thickening plot. Yes, this is Sam and Max. Uh... Used to be a comic book, I'm pretty sure that's been long since cancelled. But, uh... It's a game by LucasArts. Following the LucasArts adventure game principle of, you know, uh, not being able to die.
This is no time for chit chat. It's Max. It is not. I'm looking at the hole, stupid. All our money is invested in that rat hole. Cash. Never leave home without it. Yeah, we may need it to bribe slippery government officials. Or, you know, buy things. It's a black light that Max uses to illuminate his rare 60s posters. Max's Roach Farm. I know can talk to Max. There we go. Hey, little buddy. What? Hm. You're looking hale and hearty, little buddy. I'm a coffee achiever, Sam. I uh, probably should talk about what these guys, what the comic was about. Yeah. As you can see, you know, Sam is a dog who wears clothes for some reason, and Max does not. And uh, Max is a psychotic rabbit with uh, a lot of violent tendencies. What should we do now? I'd like to spend the rest of the day harassing pigeons, but we should probably meet the commissioner's contact. I'm excited. Who isn't? I've got something in my eye. Try digging it out with a fork. That always works for me. I'm thinking of a number between one and ten, and I don't know why. Me too. Me too. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10, and I don't know why. Me too. What else you got? There's gotta be something else in here. I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10, and I don't know why. Me too. I've got something in my eye. Try digging it out with a fork. That always works for me. My mind is a swirling miasma of scintillating thoughts and turgid ideas. Me too. Me too. Well. That's all. I played the hell out of this as a kid. And much of it is still in my brain. One mighty fine light switch. I can't pick that up. No, really. I can't pick that up. Are you dense? I can't pick that up. Read my lips. I can't pick that up. I'm sorry, but your lips just keep moving. I give up. Now you've done it. You've broken Sam's spirit with your stupid attempts to pick up that silly object. In fact, if I didn't find his pitiful sobbing so amusing, I'd come out there and rip your limbs off. Just ignore them, Sam. Maybe they'll go away. Stairs. I can't pick that up. We don't go upstairs. Not since the accident. Mm. Joe, you want a piece of me, huh? Well, take a piece of this. Brutal. But very true to life. And there's one for your old man. I really respect Flint's business acumen. Please, Sam, don't use the word acumen again. Guess he had it coming to him. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte! You're such an adorable urchin, Max. Vehicles will be stolen. 
This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Oh, it's a cute little hypercephalic kitten. He's adorable. Let's take him home and put tape on his feet. I won't pick that kitten up. I don't know where he's been. I'm not sure if I'd pick him up if I did know where he was. Hey there, little been, fella. Right? You talking to me? Maybe. Are you a cleverly disguised bonded city courier? Maybe. Are you the freelance police? Maybe. Yes, but don't go blabbing it to everybody. I think he's kind of cute, Sam. Can I make a tennis racket out of him? Maybe later, Max. Right now, we've got a message from the commissioner to collect. Oh, yeah, right. Um, problem? Sorry, guys. I swallowed your orders for safekeeping. Well, now I can't seem to hock them back up. Well, I can fix that. Come here, Max. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like any time. Might as well. Just a bunch of intoxicated pigeons. I'd rather not handle those winged rats. I don't speak pigeon. I have no use for pigeons. Somebody's been ripping off the U.S. Postal Service. Steal the mail? Are you nuts? Yes. This is a completely unusable thingamabob. Hey, I don't think Mr. Bosco's voluntarily giving away his money. Oh, I'm real terrified. A dog and a rabbit. Ooh, scary. Max, the smart-ass kid doesn't think we're scary. What do you think about that? That's telling him, little buddy. I think that punk learned a valuable lesson, Sam. Me too, Max. I didn't realize that the lower lip could stretch completely over the head. Amazing. It's all in the technique. Jeez, Bosco. Aren't you ever going to clean up this mess? I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. Let's go! I'm pretty sure one of the many running jokes is that they cannot drive for shit. No, they can't shoot for shit. If Max spontaneously grew antlers, he still wouldn't be this ugly. It's one of those jumbo size all you can drink Snuckies cups. It's almost as big as my head. I don't think anything's as big as your head. This is what they do to merry-go-round horses who won't stay with a pack. I'd ride this fiendish quarter grabber, but my lumbago's acting up. How about you, Max? You wanna ride? No way. Max will spook the horse. I gotta go to the bathroom. Do you now? It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max portable car bomb games. He's one hell of a soda jerk. He's not my type. Hey, nice hat. We all get one when we graduate Snucky U. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. Here. Somewhere. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? Snucky you? What's that? 
I sense exposition, Sam. I'm glad you asked, mister. Snucky U is where all Snucky's employees are sent to learn the ins, the outs, the ups, the downs, the overs, and the unders of the amazing gastronomical and cultural phenomenon that is Snucky's. Fascinating. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Humor him. At Snucky U, we're given intensive courses in patty pounding, choosing the right button for soft drinks, and the all-important pickle jar opening. I had no idea you were so rigorously trained. Hey, I can open any jar in the country. Cool. No, it's not. Now, how can I put all that Snucky you training to use for you? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. It's a box of pecan-flavored candies. I don't think he'd want that. You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. All Snucky U graduates have completed courses in excessive and unwarranted cheerfulness. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I want to buy these cons. I'd like to buy this. Do you have any money? Of course I do. I didn't yeah. run out since the last time. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? I just said that'll be all, but whatever. My little buddy has to use the facilities. Facilities be damned. I need a bathroom. <laughs> They're in the back. Here's the key. It's an awfully big rasp attached to that keychain. Out of toilet paper? Nah, we just had problems with thugs stealing our restroom keys. They're the cleanest in nine counties. The keys? The restrooms. You need some help, little buddy? I think I can handle this myself, Sam. Now, no, anything know. else I can do for you? No, that's Nothing. good. You have no idea how often I hear that. Hurry back outside. Go faster, Max. Sa no, Max, Sam. I always do that. Max! I'm filled with disgust and an odd sense of foreboding. And? I think we should keep the rasp. You're probably right. No one deserves to use restrooms that clean. Well, that's all. Yoink, and off we go! I had no idea cacti were so festive. Mm, they're usually not, but whatever. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max dress-up books. I'll take one of these. Are you the same person? You're awfully cheery for a minimum wage earner. All Snucky U graduates have completed courses in excessive and unwarranted cheerfulness. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. And do I don't you know have why. any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? That'll be all. Anything else? What did I just Nothing. say? You have no idea how often I hear that. I can play these game those games whenever I choose, and I'll do that eventually. He's one hell of a he's one he, he's he's one hell of a soda jerk. I was wondering if I maybe need to pick those up. I I remember this game pretty well, but I'm sure there's going to be things I forget. It's what? the mother of all crawdads. I don't know. It looks more like the father. And this is... It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max paint-by-number books. I'll take 
then. Hey, nice hat. We all get one when we graduate Schnucky U. But enough about me. What can I do for you? I'd like to buy this. Do you really? have any money? Of course I do. Here. Will that be all for you today? It will. That'll be all. Anything else? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. Hmm. How do I save? I think he's gonna die. He's fine. Max can take an absurd amount of punishment. Nation and blimey, he ain't here. So now what do we do? Now, now we get in the bus and look for him, you idiot. I knew that. Uh. Get out of Mr. Bumpus way, ye partially clad varmints. Who was that? 
I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Okay. I'm gonna figure this out. One of these buttons has to bring up a menu of some kind. There we go. Kitty, no, what have you done? Stop! Oh, easy now. Weird. Creepy. He's not my type. I don't indiscriminately use people, except Max. If you let us in, we'll get you an antacid. Sorry, boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? That's a good question. The short one with the bad hairpiece, and the tall one with the dark, flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Where are my orders? It's our orders from the commissioner. Yeah. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Um. Uh, I guess you can go in, but be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. Ho, ho, ho. That was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Everything seems to be in order here. Yep. Sam, look over there. How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but... It's them! Hi, I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Sometimes. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk yep. this way. We'd have to tie ourselves together to do that. See this melted block of ice? Yes, How I could do. we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot uh -huh. on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? 
Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? It's still here. No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks. Right but we'll money. need free run of the carnival to look for clues. And money. Yeah, and free coin dogs, so we can uke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Why would you? Didn't he fight Godzilla? Hey, Cushmans. Uh, what do you want? Who are those guys we bumped into out by the gate? Like they'd know. Uh, what guys? One was a short guy with big hair. The other one was a tall guy with big hands. Oh, you must be talking about internationally renowned recording star Conroy Bumpus. That has and his it. assistant Lee Harvey. Bumpus? Who's Conroy Bumpus? He's a loon. Insane. And the country and western singer, the boot. He actually wanted to buy Bruno and Trixie from us. Boy, was he steam when he found out that we didn't have him anymore. What can you tell us about Trixie? Long neck. She's a very caring, sensitive young woman. If you care about that kind of stuff. She used to sing folk songs to the other freaks in her trailer. You ever heard a Scrantonese folk song? No. no you don't want to. Okay. Oh, there was one other thing. Yes? She likes her men like the Statue of Liberty. Green and rusty? Tall and dense. Is there anything else you can tell us about your escaped Bigfoot? I would have gone with French. Well... He's our Bigfoot. He's escaped. He's a menace to society. What more could you possibly need to know? He's right, Sam. I don't think my colossal head could retain any more knowledge. Where do you buy your clothes, anyway? These aren't clothes. Our skin is naturally green and vinyl-like. Good lord! He's buck naked! So are you. Yeah, but I'm cute and marketable. Well... He's marketable. I'll bet life is an unending torment for you guys. Actually, it's not so bad. Speak for yourself. Have you ever thought about surgery? What for? Oh. Uh, well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. Yoink. Anyway, um, we'll call it a, a video here. I am the Blues32. This is Sam and Max hits the road. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.